Hi, this is Bo with Bo Knows. Today we're talking about protein powder. So protein powder comes from the dairy industry. So curds and whey are the separation that happens, like if you take yogurt, for example, and do you ever notice at the top there's some like watery liquid? So that's the whey. When they started industrializing the dairy process in, in the 1800s, they would separate the whey and a lot of times they wouldn't have use for it. So you could feed it to livestock, like they fed it to pigs, for example. Um, but then there were all these physical culturists, you know, like the precursor to bodybuilders who were really interested in being strong and they were, they were kind of weird. And so the dairy people thought like, whoa, we could feed it to them. <laughs> they would probably eat it and it worked, right? So that's where protein powder come, came from. So the first protein powder was whey protein powder. So it comes from dairy, dairy byproduct. So the problem with um, lots of dairy is it is very challenging for a human being to do the same thing that a cow does, right? Because cows have four stomachs and human beings have one. And so if you only have one stomach, you can't ferment and break things down as much. So goats, for example, or sheep have one stomach and it's easier to digest dairy from a goat. So my favorite protein is goat protein powder because it's one stomach animal, just like us. And it's a bit easier to digest. One of the reasons why I like goat protein the best is because it contains more MCTs or medium chain triglycerides. MCTs, they are fatty acids that are opposed to a long chain, right? And most dairy products are long chain triglycerides. The medium chain triglycerides are shorter and they're easier to digest. So they're more metabolically potent. In general, it's good to remember that Protein powder is just a derived kind of semi-refined part of a whole food. And it's better to eat whole foods in general. It's better to eat things that our human bodies recognize as food historically. In my opinion, any ingredient um, to a protein powder that is from a subsidized food is good to avoid, right? So we want to avoid anything that's um, like corn or soy based or any byproducts or derivatives of those. Uh, you wanna avoid anything that has a lot of refined sugar or really any refined sugar, um, artificial flavors, artificial colors. So remember, real food builds real muscle. This is Bo, this has been Bo Knows. See you next time.